Hello, this is Dr. Lennon, and we are um, on problem number three in the chapter eight <coughs> uh, assignment for MindTap. So what this one is, is it's again a forecasting method, and uh, I've copied the data into Excel. And what we're going to do now, instead of the other forecast methods we've learned, we're going to use the linear regression analysis that we've already done before to forecast the new values and then compute its MSE. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we can create a scatter plot to figure this out real quick. Um, if we want to insert um, a recommended chart, all charts, we want a line uh, with a single line. Let's make it look like theirs. Uh, click OK. There we go. We've got it. Notice it starts at 20 and it has this kind of increasing trend. Um, so back here, uh, so this one starts at 15, so that's why it's incorrect. So we want to choose number 2. Um, and uh, this looked like it has an, a, a general upward trend. Uh, so I would say a trend pattern for this one. Maybe they'll say it's horizontal because it's not enough, but it looks like a pretty upward trend to me. Okay, then we need to do the uh, linear regression and round our answers to two places. So um, there's a few ways we can do that. Um, we can just do it. Uh, so, so we've learned two methods for doing that. Um, we can use the data analysis tab, or we can just add it to the chart. Um, but Let's see how many decimal places it gives if we do it on the chart, just to see if it's enough accuracy. So trend line, we want to do linear, and uh, well, we want more options because we want to uh, see the equation on the chart. So we have the equation. OK, it's pretty many. So yeah, we can just use this. So for our forecast method now, uh, what we want to do is we just want to forecast all of these values. Um, using that number. Uh, the thing about the linear regression is we'll be able to get it for any value. But uh, OK, so let's enter these two values first, the B0, the y-intercept. Um, so on our uh, thing, we see it's 19.993. Um, so we just need 19.99. And the slope B1 is the value multiplied with x, so 1.77 if we're using two values, uh, 1.77. Now we need to compute the MSE. So to compute the MSE, remember we always do the forecast and then the forecast error. So our forecast is going to be um, just the x value plugged into this function. Notice actually what's interesting with the linear regression, we'll be able to forecast for any value that we have an input for. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do equals, and we're going to copy the formula, but in place of x, we're going to um, instead click the cell for year, 1.7738. Uh, we need to do times, and then click the cell, and then we're going to add 19.993, and then we will fill that down. And then the forecast error will just be the... Um, data point cost minus the forecast and then we fill that down and then the square of the forecast error we're just squaring the adjacent cell squaring the forecast error um, so square that one and then fill down all the values um, as we've done for all the previous problems and then again the MSE we get by just taking the average of that column we created so let's do that. Take the average of this column. Uh, we get 2.918. So let's fill that into MindTap. Um, 2.918 will make it 2.92 when we round up. Um, what's the average cost increase that the firm has been realizing per year? <coughs> well, the slope is just telling you what, how the cost is changing. So that's actually exactly this 1.77 value from Part B. So 1.77 goes here, and then um, they want to compute the cost for next year, so we can do that again just by filling down the forecast one more. Um, but it'll give me an error because I don't have a year, so I need to add a 9 here, and then um, it will update for me. So 35.957, uh, so two decimal places would be 35.96. And let's see how we did. Okay, got them all right. So that's how you do forecasting with linear regression. Hope that uh, helps clear things up on problem number three.